Hey everyone, it's Alex here from MetalMasterKingdom.com and I am here with one of my favorite power metal bands, guitarist Frederick Larson. Bass player. Frederick, yeah. thank you very much for doing this. Thanks. Um, so for you guys, this is your first tour here in North America since 2010. Yeah. From what I recall, so seven years. Embarrassing long wait. <laughs> I know, I know. We're excited to have you back. Um, so how did... How did this? How did the the talk come about to come back to North America? Well, we always talked about getting here, the North America tour. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know why it, it didn't happen the last time. But um, we got together with Delane and, uh, yeah. and spoke with them and kind of planning something to do co-headline. Okay. And uh, it seems to be a good idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you ever played with Delane before? No, first time. First time? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be fun, fun watching as well. All right. Day of first. Um, so, are there any, uh, what are some of your favorite songs from the new album, Built to Last? What are some of your favorite songs to play from that live? Uh, Hammer High. Is a Hammer High. Song. Yeah, it's a great one. It's a great one. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're great, but in, in different ways. Uh, there's a lot of songs that we want to play, but uh, mm -hmm. due to, I mean, we released 10 albums now, so yeah. it's getting harder and harder to, to fix songs yeah. for, for a short set list. Yeah. So speaking of your 10th album, you're now 10 albums into your career. Um, you were my first introduction into power metal, and I introduced you to a couple of my friends who had never heard of power metal before. So now it seems like you're hitting that stage of where you are someone's introduction yeah. to power metal. No. How, how is that for you guys to hear, <laughs> oh hey, you know, Chapter 5 was the first album I ever heard yeah. from you guys. How does that how does that feel to you guys? Uh, it's kind of strange, since it's a, this is something from the 80s. Uh, yeah. Heavy metal and power metal. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what I listened to when I was young. Mm -hmm. I mean, so this is definitely the, the second generation of, of that. So yeah. it's kind of strange. Okay. <laughs> so, and what I, what I want to bring you is to, on this album, Built to Last, your 10th album, you would think after a while that you you would may, not lose your gas, but maybe starting to slow down a bit. Whereas on this record, you guys seem to have that theme of, hey, we're ha we're still here, been a band for this long. Yeah. Um, we actually, we took uh, the, the, the album before this. Uh, Revolution. Revolution, yeah. yeah. We, we took a break. Uh, the whole 2013, I mm -hmm. think, uh, just to gather strength and, and get something good yeah. going again. Do you felt that, do you felt that that kind of fueled the energy oh, towards yeah. the heading into sure. this record? Definitely. Yeah. When we came back, we wanted to. It felt like we all wanted to prove that we're still here, mm -hmm. and we want to do this. For me. Yeah. Which leads me to my next question: How was the recording process? Because this is your first album without Anders in 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how was that? Was that a different dynamic? Because you're coming in to, with this brand new drummer and David Wallen, yeah. and not having Andrews there. How was that dynamic? How was that? Uh, Justin? Yeah, it was the first time in the studio without Anders. But I mean, we had David playing with us mm -hmm. for quite some time yeah. before that. But it was a bit edgy, you know, going into the studio and not knowing how he was, felt. Because the stuff. chemistry is different. Yeah, I would imagine, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, I was. Piece of cake. It was so easy to work with That's David good. on that. So, how did it come around to getting? Um, I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Johan Kohlberg. Yep. Kohlberg. How, how did that come around? Uh, well, he was actually one of those candidates uh, that we wanted to have. Yeah. Okay. Before, um, before David. But uh, and since since uh, David couldn't join us on this tour, we we need to have someone else. Absolutely. Uh, and his name was the first that popped up. Okay. Um, during your last European tour, you had old guitarist Stefan Ongren yeah. uh, play bass for you guys on a couple shows. How was that? Well, since I wasn't with them, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I was home. Or how, from what you heard from them. Yeah, was, I mean, uh, they had a blast. They, they, and I know Stefan loved it. Yeah. It was so fun. I mean, he's a pilot and been away from, from this uh, mm -hmm. for, for quite some for quite time now. Years, yeah. yeah, and uh, he just loved to be back and, and do stuff with the band. So, yeah. yeah. And I think it was great for the fans too, to have a familiar face. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, so, for Bill to Last, you decided um, to uh, once again have James Michael of 6 a.m. produce for you. Um, 
Just what, the vocals. Yeah, just Actually, the vocals, yeah. yeah. What made you want to, um, what made Yokin maybe want to bring him back? Or, uh, since it, since uh, Infected album, since when, infected, when we started yeah. working with James, yeah. they clicked so good, uh, Yokin and, and James. You can hear it in the vocals. Yeah, it's it's really, it really, you know, it's like, it really works well with Jokin, and uh, and we didn't want to change that chemistry. I mean, yeah. we had something good going, and uh, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Let's let's make it the same thing again, and uh, see what happens. And uh, yeah, still works. So, um, so what are the uh, so as of right now, after this tour, what are the future plans for Hammerfall? Uh, we have a lot of shows. We have this North American tour, and then we have. Summer festivals, so all summer, a lot of festivals, and um, we're gonna do some Swedish, small Swedish tour because uh, we haven't played anything. Uh, in When's that headlining Bakken show coming? Um, headlining the whole thing. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Right. <laughs> um, what would your dream tour be? Dream tour. Dream tour. If you could pick, maybe let's say two bands. Uh, I would probably say to to go with our maiden and, our maiden, and, and fly with them. I mean, getting the, that big fucking airplane and just <laughs> move to the next place. Yeah, that would be something. Be cool. <laughs> um, last question for you: If you were to rank your top five Hammerfall albums, in your opinion, impossible. Impossible. Yeah, impossible. No, I mean, first of all. Uh, the, the last one is too fresh to, to be in to that. Be, uh, yeah, I, I can't really judge it uh, yet. We need to, to have some breathe before we can uh, before we can judge that along with the other records. All right. Because right now it's it's one of the best, of course. Yeah. But uh, actually, one last thing I did here, and I want to clear this up because I wasn't sure if this was true. True or false? I heard I had read somewhere that Twilight Princess was based off the Zelda game. Is no. that true? No, not the song itself. It's the just the, itself. the title. The title. Yeah, okay. of course. Oscar loves Zelda. Zelda, okay. Yeah, he loves <laughs> Nintendo and video games. Okay. And, uh, he collects them uh, and he has a, a large room with just those uh, video games. Oh, okay. Retro games. All right. That's so, awesome. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, Frederick, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Um, it's been a if you guys get a chance, if Hammerfall and Delaney are coming to your city, go check them out. Hope to see you. Hope to see you there. Uh, this is Alex from Metal Master Kingdom, signing off with Frederick Larson of Hammerfall. Thank you so much for doing this. Take care. Up the irons.